make us home It'll be alright if they leave us alone Right on, right on. Sounds great. You guys feeling good? Yeah. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, yeah, again, uh, Almost Daylight. Thank you for uh, playing a couple songs today. Are all the songs today off that record, or you got them kind of interspersed well, throughout? I've got the... one song off of my last record, Little Victories. It's I'm going to play that song. That'll be the next song. All right, right on, cool. And then the first one and the last two are off, the, are off Almost Daylight. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Thanks for bringing some of that record to us today. Um, that record was produced by uh, someone that we got a, love, a lot of love for through our friend Steve Earle, which is Ray Kennedy, who produced that record. Um, is this the first time you've worked with Ray, or, or is this a long-term, a long-going well, I mean, relationship? He, I think he mixed half of uh, or recorded enough rope 
and uh, either recorded half the record or I know he recorded half of it. He may have mixed the whole thing. Gotcha. And then later on, I got in the studio with him on uh, Little Victories, and I used my road band to record it. And then we had a few overdubs. We had a few people come in, but it was pretty cool. Nice. The first time that we ever did a whole record together. Right, and, and and Ray like tracked, mixed, and mastered the whole thing, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, cool. And you wrote every produced, song. Yeah, Ray produced it. And cool. Everything. Nice. And Dan Baird was like the interpreter. <laughs> yeah i think i know what you mean right on um yeah well thanks again for putting that on the world in october um i know we've uh we've been knowing about you for a while we had you on an article about voices from rural kentucky you're from a very small town triple digits population wise yeah. right yeah yeah what, yeah, uh, 200 people about 200 people yeah i my i went to high school in town about 3500 but that's still a big city right yeah yeah oh yeah that's too big for me <laughs> yeah they had a walmart and a mcdonald's so right on well uh you're i mean you're on the road constantly these days right i know you were I home last been. night i mean i i'm i stay on the road all the time but sometimes i mean there's i do a three-day run four five-day run i do a few of those in a row and I'll be off 10 days and then go back out, or I'll be off, I may even be off two full weeks, sometimes even a month, and then uh, just, you know, just uh, can keep going. And uh, uh, sometimes I'm out for 10 days, two weeks. Yeah. But you're out and then you're home and then you're you're right. you're yeah, bound to be I mean, back it's out. Good balance, sir. You know. Yeah, I know you said you got some some Z's in your own bed last night, so that's good. Yeah. Um, and you're in town tonight for a show at Terminal West. Um, and I know you're headed to Chattanooga after that the following day. Right. Then a little bit of a break and a couple more shows coming up. We'll talk about those in a bit. But yeah, um, man, we're really stoked that you're here. So, um, what's up next? Uh, a song called Little Victories. Well, I got the Honda 125 running Took the back road to the store About 35 degrees, but it sure feels good Not to be walking no more I got some milk, bread, and bologna Some little Debbie's and some Mountain Dew Sometimes when I ain't got the grocery Gonna see what this thing will do Little victory They're all right with me These days that's all I need I got an OF 250 4x4 four four, Needing a new rear end I sold some hides And I sold some wood Saving up to get it going again and I can start hauling these timbers And sell them down at the mine Here they're bringing a few bucks a piece Things are looking better all the time Little victory They all ride with me These days that's all I need The country's going through hard time, but I ain't feeling it none. We all trying to make it through one more day when it's all said and done. I got a deer and a half in the freezer. I've got wheels and plenty of wood. I know I ain't setting the world on fire, but I think I got it pretty good. Little victory, they all ride with me. These days, that's all I need. Little victory, they all ride with me. 
These days that's all I need Nice. I appreciate that song uh, and, and the concept of little victories as well. Um, yeah, that, that, one, that one spoke to me. I really appreciate that, Chris. Thank you. Yeah. Um, sometimes those are all you got, yeah, to get you through the day. I think I, those yeah. are, <laughs> well, you just said that, uh, but much more interestingly than I did uh, with a guitar. Um, yeah, so uh, Terminal West tonight, Chattanooga tomorrow. Um, later in December, you're going to be at the Rex in Pittsburgh on the 29th. Yeah. Um, Boondocks in Springfield, Illinois, close to my neck of the home woods, uh, February 1st. Um, and I'm sure you'll be on and off uh, on the road again throughout 2020 on a schedule probably like the one you just described. So yeah. we're looking forward to that. Um, and uh, yeah, what... Uh, not only are you a singer-songwriter of your own music, but you've also written some songs for a few other folks out in the world. Um, what's uh, I'm not going to read your bio to you here, but what's your favorite? What, what's your what's the favorite song that you've written for someone else that they've kind of taken? Um, well, I mean, I've had uh, Randy Travis Cut and John Anderson. I grew, up, you know, proud of that. Yeah, but, um, yeah. I didn't want to assume that Randy was the one, but you know, like. Well, there was actually Gary Allen recorded it also, and Dan Baird and and the Yahoos uh, recorded it too. They they got the best version. Of, gotcha. Of a Highway Junkie. Highway Junk. That's yeah, the song. Yeah. Highway Junkie, and then uh, John Anderson recorded "Ain't Easy Being Me." I, you know, I had some other album cuts confederate railroad but uh montgomery gentry cut one a few years ago that uh went to number two on billboard so that's probably my favorite yeah all right i feel that <laughs> that's probably my favorite song that i've ever recorded yeah writing a penning a song that's number two on billboard has got to feel good so right. yeah nice yeah. uh congratulations to you as well on that um Cool, man. Well, yeah, uh, I really appreciate your sort of uh, uh, raw honesty uh, here. Uh, obviously, these songs are all about, uh, well, maybe it's not obvious, and maybe I'm way off, but it feels like these songs are just you talking about things you've been through and thought about and experienced in song, and, and man, I really appreciate the honesty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't like to be, you know, I've written songs that just, I didn't believe myself when I was singing them, so... You know, I don't record them. Yeah, I don't well, sing them. Nice. I yeah. I uh, I feel like you've put all these through that process. So yeah, I appreciate that. And I'm still thinking about that last song, but I should probably start thinking about what's next. Um, what are we gonna hear up next, uh, Chris? Uh, William Callahan off of uh, off of uh, the last album, Almost Daylight. It's uh. Song I wrote a good while ago with a friend of mine, uh, uh, Tim Crackle, and uh, I, I always liked the lyrics, and but there was always something about it that kept me from recording it, and uh, so I pulled it back out before this album, and I rewrote a few lines in it, and I. Uh, change the melody completely, and no. so just got the, it where I liked it and where I, you know, I'd sing it. You yeah, know, I sing it every night now. Right on. So you got it where you want it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for bringing it here. I'm William Callahan Used to be a rambling man Left home at 17 Hopped a freight to Birmingham Started boys to Kentucky coal Lined my pocket for Denver gold I've been cold as the last of snow Searching for the sun Restless 
Very nice. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. Real quick, I just uh, what do you expect to be up to in 2020? Um, other than touring around playing music, you got anything coming out? Yeah, probably not. I'm gonna ride out this one. Yeah, be another uh, might be eight years. Another eight years. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was afraid of, but I wanted to ask. Um, and then you know what? That's just all right with us. Um, we appreciate you. Uh, well, you know, I mean, I. I think in my very first interview that I ever did, or my bio or something, I mean, I I think I said, I don't know whether this made the interview or not, but I said, you know, if I get to where I'm not writing anything that I want to record, or if I'm writing the same old stuff, you know, I'm not going to, I won't put it out. So, right. you know, I'm going to have to believe in what I'm doing. Or put it out right. or you know i mean i don't know and hey man you know it's cool if it takes another seven or eight my or manager whatever. talks me into putting out a you know <laughs> something you didn't want to put out, I didn't want to put out. Well, don't do that yeah, you know, maybe i'll do it for the money well yeah and that's all right too honestly <laughs> uh yeah uh well hey whatever pace you're releasing me it's totally okay yeah. so the the yeah. that seven year break were all those songs that made it to almost daylight where those they were probably not written in one batch they're from all over the place and like you said with the one you kind of cracked it back open and redid it and made it while <laughs> yeah, you wanted I mean, it that's kind of what uh, this record was there were several songs written over the a year or two before i recorded it but it took it i'm, I'm gonna say it took a year and a half or two years to get everybody together to make this record because ray kennedy's extremely busy and then he had a few other things going on and stuff like that so we 
we didn't get in the studio. And I think when it came down to this is a good time to do it, I think Dan was in Europe all the time. So <clears throat> when he got back, you know, it, it was a good time for us to do it. Everything kind of fell into place right then. Right, right. Y'all got round to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, uh, well, cool. And hey, man, like I said, any pace uh, is keep doing what you're doing, yeah. and I and I appreciate your uh you you won't settle for less and uh and and how 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 real the music that we're hearing right now feels man it's 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 noted and appreciated so thank you very much thank you yeah and we got one more song and i'd love to hear what it is all right <coughs> it's actually an older song that i wrote uh, i wrote a good while ago leanne womack recorded it on her uh one of her albums a few years ago and, you know, I started fooling around with it and <clears throat> decided I wanted to, uh, to record it. And it's, you know, and I've, again, I changed a few things in it. Because, I mean, when you're a staff writer, <clears throat> you know, you've got a quota of songs, you know, and... You like you write one and then go on to the next one and if something. I mean, a lot of times if something's bugging you about a song, you don't go back. You don't just keep working on it. You got to get your next song right. turned in and all that. So, I feel like that every time I uh, try to work on one of these sessions after the fact. I'm like, I just I gotta say it's done at yeah, some point. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah that's. That's right, but uh, it's hard. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've even rewritten songs after I re recorded them. You know, or just verses and stuff. You know, it's like there's something I don't like about that verse. I don't know why I recorded that, but I'm gonna, you know, and then I change it and play it live. You know, the way that I rewrote it. <clears throat> this call send it on down. <clears throat> Daddy's on the hardware store But he didn't hear me around no more I don't know the whole story but I overheard some And I know he's who I got my drinking from Girls around here want a guy that's rich Even if it was, it wouldn't be no kick This ain't where I'll be settling down I ain't be gone when fall rolls around Jesus, would you say to me, I'm going crazy. I need some help getting out of this town. Are there any answers? I'd sure like to hear one. Well, if you got some, won't you send it on down? While I'm still able to be found
in the bleachers at the football field. Got a pretty good buzz from the quarter just killed. It's a cold Sunday morning and the church bells ring. And I can just about hear all the good folks sing. Jesus, would you save me? I'm going crazy. I need some help getting out of this town. Are there any answers? I'd sure like to hear one. Well, if you got some, won't you send it on down? While I'm still able to be found Chris, thank you. And Chris, also, thank you. Thank you, all, very <laughs> thank much. You all the Chris's in the room right now uh, for being here. But no, specifically, Chris Knight, man, this was really cool. Uh, I hope this isn't the last time we get to do this. Um, so, yeah, please come back anytime you're in Atlanta. In Studio New York, too. Uh, yeah, man. So, what I do is just come up and knock on the door. Just knock on the door. Yeah, come back tomorrow. Crawl, stumble in here after the show if you want. Yeah, I might. Sometimes I've slept here before, so you know, you might find me. Um, man, no, seriously, safe travels. Um, crush it tonight, and uh, we'll see you again. I appreciate right. it very much. Thank y'all.